Hello everyone, Carrie Bramley, Physio and Pilates Instructor here. Um, so today we're just going to look at lumbar rolls, okay? So this is just um, a little a short video just to um, look at how, how you can um, work up lumbar rolls. You know, I love lumbar rolls. It's a fantastic assessment tool for core. Um, particularly with people who are quite flexible so I use it a lot to assess um, someone's core strength but it's also um, a great um, a tummy exercise and you know what I also like about it is that you can you can do different things with the legs so that you can still strengthen your quads stretch out your hamstrings stretch out your calf muscles okay so we're going to do it in stages because again you know some people when they start off they find this quite a difficult exercise to do so i'm just going to try and break it down and then when you do it you can just decide how you do it okay and and this video will be here for you to to come back to and you know use as a reference that's that's the whole idea <laughs> okay and of course you know same as all the other short little videos that I'm doing here under the gold core routines they can all be tagged on to the gold core one or the gold core two routine okay um okay so I've just got my trusty little ball again <laughs> you can see just one of the kiddies balls okay doesn't have to be anything fancy if you haven't got a ball um again you can roll up two towels together you just need something that's sort of about this wide uh, a rolled up yoga mat is also quite good okay the reason i like the ball is there's a little bit more movement in all directions with it so um that's why i like the ball okay all right, so we're going to start with our standing roll down and then I'm actually going to have my legs towards you to start with because I'm going to do it as like a beginner's, okay, to start with and, and we'll just go through some of the teaching things and the technique things and then we'll increase it and put it together and then at the end we'll try with the ball as well, okay, so that you can see the routine as it should be without the ball and then with the ball. Okay, right. So let's start with our standing roll down. Shoulders back and down. Feet hip distance apart. Pull the belly button in. Soften the knees. Poke. Lower. Roll and reach. Breathe in, out, come chest up and push up. Now, if you're tagging this in, okay, to onto gold core one or gold core two, you don't need to do the standing roll downs, okay? I just like to tune in. <laughs> okay, so here's lumbar rolls. So we're going to start. like that okay so for someone who can't lift both legs up off the floor because lumbar rolls we do this you see so for someone who can't do that you just try and bring one leg off the floor okay and hands here and what you're going to do is you're going to turn like this okay you're going to turn like that and then you change and then you do it the other side and then gradually, gradually, gradually you see if you can straighten one leg and then you turn and turn okay all right and then you, you know you'll have to practice that for a little bit until you get strong enough to bring both legs up off the floor and with that, you see, you can push 
on the foot that's on the floor to get the turn just until you're strong enough. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to go the other way because then it's just better for my voice to project. Okay, like that. So the key thing with the arms is when you hear, so we're going to breathe out to raise one leg, breathe out to raise the other, okay? And your knees are hip distance apart like that. You don't want the legs like that in the beginning. Tabletop, okay, so 90 degrees. The key thing with the arms, you want your shoulders back and down. And when you are turning like this, you don't want the arm to come out to the side. You see, that counterbalances you. And what we're trying to get is we're trying to get the core. Okay? All right? So it's this tummy that pulls you up and over. So what we're trying to think of is bringing this back cheek up off the floor. Like that. Okay. Then if we can just think of the legs, so your leg, oh, my, my knees are a bit too straight. Your leg position here, you don't want to be, so you don't want to be turning using your legs. You want to turn using your tummy. Okay. All right. Then to get the maximum benefit of your core, so, you know, this is our obliques and our transversus that we're working, to get the maximum benefit, you come up to here, and that's where you stay. If you come further, you're going to feel like you're going to fall over. Okay. All right. So, in terms of technique, we say this knee mustn't come past that elbow. So, breathe out, pull in to turn. That's it. That's all you do. Okay. It's really a case of less is more with this. Breathe out, pull in to come back. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in to turn. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come back. Okay. Right. So now I'm just going to come side on because there are some straightening leg options. And what I want you to see is the angle of the legs when you're straightening them. Okay. Because that's quite important in terms of getting the leg work in. Just go side on here. Just make sure you can see my legs. So breathe out, pull in to raise. Okay. So let's come. I'll come to the side. Breathe in. Breathe out to turn. Okay. Now you want to hold that turn and we want to straighten one leg. So the key thing when you're straightening, you want to really get the straight knee, toes to the nose to get all the benefit. Just do what you can to start with, but that's what we're aiming for. But can you see how I haven't dropped my leg down there? Because when you can have the leg here, you're really then working the core, okay? And then we go back to the other side. We do the same thing. So can you see it hasn't dropped? So you're trying to keep this thigh in line with that one. Okay. Now just do the underneath leg because this is the next one. So you're straightening this leg without dropping it. You're keeping it in line with the other thigh. Okay. And trying not to turn at the hip. 
bottom, right? And then turn now the underneath leg straightens. Okay. All right. And the same thing applies when we come to both legs. Okay. Now when you come to both legs, you want to look at your feet and you want to make sure that they remain even. So you don't want one turning out and one straight. You want them even. And then back to the middle and down. Okay, so that's the leg positions there. Um, oh, and of course, you know, the same principle as we did, well, the same principle as we do in, in all our clinical Pilates, and, and should be in all the Pilates, is that your, your knee and your thigh just balance over your hip. Okay, so 90 degrees at the knee, no more. So not right up to your chest. If you're coming right up to your chest, you're using your hip flexors again, okay? You put your back in a bent position and you lose the whole the whole effect of, of the exercise, okay? And the slower you go, the harder it is. So the faster you go, the more you'll be cheating. <laughs> okay, so less is more, okay? All right. So here we go, we're going to do the whole routine from the start. Okay. So hands are facing like that, not that. I don't actually know what the, the reasoning is for that, but um, it does seem to make make it easier holding the arms like that when, you know, to gauge your your leg positions, breathe out, breathe out, pull in to raise, breathe out to raise. Okay, here we go. My legs need to be bent more. You shouldn't see your feet. <laughs> you can see I've got one leg that's stronger and wants to do all the work. Okay, this hamstring. Okay, right, so here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out to roll. 45 is what we say, 45 degrees. And you should feel your tummy muscles. Breathe in, breathe out to come back. So just make sure you don't pull those knees to your chest. Okay, breathe out. Pull in to roll. Keep this. Breathe in, breathe out. Pull in to come back. Roll to the other side. Okay, so here we go. Just decide which leg. I'll straighten the top. You're really trying to keep those thighs in line, toes to the nose, and bend. Back to the middle. Breathe out to straighten. That's it. And bend. Underneath leg, breathe out, pull in to roll. Straighten the underneath leg. Breathe in, out to bend, back to the middle, breathe in, out to roll, just 45. So this knee mustn't come past this hand, hey, okay. Straighten, thighs in line, toes to the nose, back to the middle. Breathe in, breathe out to roll. Now we're straightening both. So look at your feet. You want them even. For me, I've got to really think of turning this hip in because it wants to do that. Okay, so I've got to really think. That's it. Bend. Back to the middle. Just make sure you don't pull those knees up. Breathe out to roll. Straightening. Check those feet. Breathe in. Out to bend. Back to the middle. Now we go again, breathe out to roll, straightening. So this is called pendulum, this. So you're trying to come up and over and up and over 
and there's my leg back to the middle keep that alignment bend and lower down okay all right if you feel you are going to fall over just go much less with your turn okay even if it's just a tiny bit to start with and not totally even if you don't totally get that buttock off the ground okay all right so now i'm just going to show you with the ball and i use this to help people get the idea of where of 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 the alignment of their legs especially when they start straightening you know because to start with if you haven't got hamstring length and you haven't got quad strength you can't straighten and keep those legs in alignment like that okay so I use the ball for that because it just means that you can you can feel when that ball rolls and you can feel when that leg um, wants to lower down so um, that's that's how I use it but it's also you know I use the ball just as as a reminder of pelvic floor because you're using your adductor your inner thigh muscles to actually hold that ball a little bit so it's a good way of just reminding you to also you know it's not just tummy we're working it's also pelvic floor okay so a couple of little reasons I just like to add the ball Right. So here we go. Okay. Ball between the knees. So now you see I've got to let that left leg go a little bit. That's better. Both of them gotta go. <laughs> it's to get this awareness. Okay. Right up. All our little things that we have to deal with. So we are turning 45 to the right. Breathe out, pull in and pelvic floor and turn to that side. Breathe in, breathe out to come back. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in and pelvic floor. So the shoulder blades back and down. Breathe in, breathe out to come back. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out to turn. Here we go. I'm going to go underneath leg this just to change it. So we're straightening that underneath leg. Breathe in. Breathe out to bend. And come back. Breathe in. Breathe out. So shoulder blade back and down to turn. Straighten the underneath leg. Breathe in, breathe out to bend. Back to the middle. Breathe in, breathe out to turn. We're straightening the top leg. Breathe in, breathe out to bend. I brought those knees up a little bit. Back to the middle. Yeah, just make sure those knees don't ride up, okay? Breathe out to turn. So shoulder back and down. Straightening out the top leg. You see there's my foot again. I've got to turn it in. So you want your kneecap facing forward. Okay. And bend. Back to the middle. We go with straight. Breathe in. And out to turn. And straighten. So you actually look at those leg alignments remember you're pulling in your pelvic floor too you can squeeze that ball a bit to get more leg work Back. breathe out to straighten so in this position here if you squeeze pull your pelvic floor in that's a nice bit of work that for quads for your legs go the other side 
Now we're coming up and over with those legs in that position. That's called pendulum. Breathe out. Good. Breathe in. Back to the middle. And down. Okay, so that's how I teach it, but in a class, you know, we might do two repetitions of the bent legs, and we might do two repetitions of all the single leg straightening, okay, so you can add in and chop and change those as much as possible. For me, you see, I, I've got to keep working on, you know, this right leg issue. You know, my leg still wants to turn out the whole time. I've got to keep turning it in. So I find just one repetition of the straight legs is enough for me at one time. You know, I'd rather do the whole routine again and come back and do the straight legs. So they're just a few options that you can do all right hopefully that will help you it's it's a wonderful little exercise this the key thing is just to do it properly and to do what you can manage okay that's the key thing if you can't get both those legs straight just do them in a sort of a bent position to start with or just leave it until you get a bit stronger okay and if you keep falling over to one side well that's your weak that's a weak way, okay? And you need to practice that to, to have the core so that, because it's your core that stops you falling, okay? And also just remember, don't take the, the legs too far, okay? It comes a point where actually it's just too much for your core. You'd have to have a really strong core, but also you just lose the effect, okay? All right, we'll finish with our standing roll down. Well done. Breathe out, pull it, soften, lower, roll, and reach. Chest up to push up. <laughs> okay, fantastic everyone. We will see you again next time.